what's up? Um, so I got my first pair of gerbils back in January of 2011, um, and it, it and that was April 2021, so I've had gerbils for 10 years. Um, and so I've had three pairs of girls. Um, uh, they were Speedy and Holly were first, and then I had Peanut and Jasmine, and then I had Ginger and Pearl, which I've actually featured on the channel. And so I had Ginger and Pearl for quite a bit. Now, in, um, uh, on January 1st of 2020, Pearl unfortunately died, which really was a good tone setter for 2020 and really gave me a good preview of how it was going to go. But anyways, um, and then a few months later, on April 8th, uh, Ginger passed away. And so, you know, after I think it was like two weeks, I was like, you know what, I, I want another pair of gerbils. I had gotten my three pairs of girls from the pet store um, because we didn't really have much knowledge of breeders. But because of COVID, the pet store was closed. So I looked for a breeder um, on Kijiji, uh, Gerb Kijiji, otherwise known as the Gerbil Adoption Center. And um, that's how I ended up with Chestnut and Pringle. I actually, I got them super young. I got them at eight weeks old and uh, they were so cute. I actually featured them on my channel the day after I adopted them. I want you to meet my new gerbils. Um, their names are <laughs> Chestnut and, ah, Chestnut and, um, these guys are only eight weeks old. They're super tiny. Their names are Chestnut and Pringle. But yeah, I want you to meet them. Hopefully they're going to be part of the channel. One of the benefits of getting them from a breeder, apart from obviously the ethical aspects, um, getting them from a pet store is not great, plus they're more likely to have health problems, but if you get them from a breeder, it's, tech it's you know, generally better. Um, one of the benefits, though, is that there's like a 99% chance that they can tell you their exact birthday, and actually on the listing, it had their birthday, which is today, which is April 6th. So Chestnut and Pringle just turned a year old, so um, for their birthday, I decided to make them a little birthday cake. Okay, so I have all of the ingredients that I need for this. Um, I have some Greek yogurt for the frosting, because um, obviously frosting is not safe for gerbils, um, but yogurt is safe for gerbils. Um, this is Greek yogurt. Chestnut is super enthusiastic. Like I, tr I tr tried to put a little bit on my finger so he can lick it off and he gently licked it off and then fucking bit me trying to get the rest of it off my finger. <laughs> and then there's a little strawberry uh, that's gonna be on top. I'm gonna cut it up really tiny. The spinach is going to act as the little strawberry leaves. Um, spinach, these are all safe for gerbils. Um, now, in the recipe that the girl uses, she uses pieces of bread as like to make little circles. Um, and that hinges on your gerbils liking the uh, yogurt, I think. And Ch Pringle is not super enthusiastic, but they love apples. So I thought that I would um, take an apple and use this thing, which seems to be the roughly the right size, and just kind of shove it through the apple and try to get like a like a slice. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try my best. I have this, which I'm gonna fill with the Greek yogurt to do the little details. And then I have some pine nuts that I might try to shove in there and some flax seeds if I feel like getting fancy and decorative. So uh, yeah, let's start off with trying to get the apple. This is easily the most difficult part, like that. And then um, just basically shove this through until I get a... I hope that looks kind of okay. <laughs> okay, I just cut out a little piece of cardboard. Um, thank you, pass the boxes. <laughs> just put, cut out a little piece of cardboard because that's what cakes come on, right? They have little pieces of cardboard. Okay, so I've got that. And then I've got to mix this up a little bit. And then just put on, I have to somehow put on like a little thin layer that is not a thin layer. <laughs> um, here, I have a little mini spoon. I got my first layer of that, and I really want to put in pine nuts in between the layers because these guys go crazy for pine nuts. Like, every single time you see them in a video sitting on my shoulder or something, it's because they're eating pine nuts. So I'm going to take these pine nuts and cut them in half. And just place them there. 
Oh, that is really uneven. <laughs> oh, the person who posted this made it look so much easy. So much easier than this actually is. Now we have the final layer on top. Oh, that is a lot chunkier than the bottom two. That's fine though, that's fine. We'll survive. Okay, I'm actually gonna take this with the knife and I'm gonna try to put it around as best as I can. How do cake people do in real life? They do it like, like for big, big people cakes. It's holding together way better than I thought it would. I thought it would be a fucking slip and slide here, but it's not. I think this is the best that I'm gonna get it right now. Um, I'm sure that I will improve in the future, but I think this is pretty good for a first attempt. So now I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna cut off a little corner. That way I can decorate it. Oh, we are up to a very rough start. I think just making them little bubbles looks like better than trying to give it shape. I think that looks pretty good. Again, not perfect, but not super horrible. It could be worse. Let's just put it that way. It could be a lot worse. Okay, now we're gonna put it on top, same story. Holy shit, apart from like this weird side here, which, oh god, I can't, it's beyond fix it. What if I use my finger? Okay, maybe the top will, maybe I can save it. <laughs> oh boy, oh no, I'm seeing all of my mistakes. Okay, I'm gonna put that there for now. We're gonna work on the little strawberry. Um, so in the video, she just cut a really thin slice and then cut it to look like miniature strawberries. And then cut another little triangle. This looks pretty strawberry-y. So for the leaves, it's kind of the same story, just... This is spinach. These guys go crazy over spinach. They love it. There's one leaf. Oh shit, oh shit, oh boy, Houston, we have a problem. So now we're gonna add the little strawberries. I think I'm gonna start adding flax seeds on the bottom, like to each point. That look good. I think it looks cute. I hope you enjoyed that. All right, here goes nothing. Holy shit, that worked. Boom, I think that looks pretty damn good for a gerbil cake. All right, I'm gonna try to give it to them. No promise, <laughs> no promises. I'm pretty sure that they're gonna just take it and run away. Like, um, what are they called? Um, hamsters are really cute with uh, these little projects because they sit and eat. Gerbils tend to just take it and run. So there's like a 99% chance they're gonna just take it and run, but um, I don't wanna give them too much because it's not good for them. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna cut this again. You know what, I'm just gonna give them a slice each. I'm just gonna give them this top slice. I think this is how much I'm gonna give them. The pine nuts uh, kinda got lost in the sauce, it seems, so I'm just gonna crush a single pine nut and um, add it to it. Hey, cutie pie, happy birthday, buddy. And there's Pringle. Oh, look at you, you're curious, aren't you? All right, let's see if he'll go for it. Super interesting. Oh, oh. Mm. Just nice. See if we can get Pringle here too. Pringle. Oh, he's eating the pine nuts. Oh, he's with the little strawberry bunny. You're so cute. Pringle. Pringle. Can I get you here? Can I interest you in some birthday cake? I think, I mean, oh, here we go. Pringle, you have your own slice, you have your own slice. You have your own, you have your own, your own slice, there you go.
It's Apple. You like this? Oh, <laughs> oh, cutie pie. All right, I'll see if the other one will also take it. Okay, I'm just wiping off the uh, frosting. Oh, cutie pies. You're one year old already. You can't believe it. Say a happy birthday. Say hi, YouTube. Um, yes, you're a good baby. You're such big, they're so huge now. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to celebrate their birthday with you. Uh, so, peace out. <laughs>